Okay, we are back and we've got these guys out of their case. The uh, case itself isn't too much. It looked like there was some mirror and stuff. That was just silver painted cardboard in it. Um, and as you can see, we get this, this kind of little box. There's nothing about the box that says it's particular to this this model so I'm assuming all the boxes are the same here's the cars though and that's what we really care about I'm gonna get rid of that so it doesn't focus on it there's your tires so it's got some nice beefy tires on it um, those uh, rims or axle housings are a little bit different than what we're seeing on the Hot Wheels they do have kind of an inset pin in the rims Again, different than the Hot Wheels that you might be used to seeing. I'm not sure why, and I don't really like the way that looks as well as what we might see on the Super Treasure Hunts. No opening doors, no opening hoods, uh, but that is the Boss Mustang in yellow. That is a nice car. Here's the Zaymac version. Uh, very prototypey looking. It's got the white interior, black detailing. And then the Zaymac or the unpainted finish on it. It does have chrome on the front. If this was a uh, production model, you might want to, you might expect to see that be white or a gray. Um, but some very nice cars. Uh, oh, let's look on the bottom here. Here you go. So you can tell what they are. That's the uh, 70 Boss Mustang. Nothing particularly different about it now I think what what would happen with these is after that 25,000 and truthfully truthfully we have no way of knowing if this is the first 25,000 or not but let's assume they're telling the truth after that 25,000 run then different wheels would be put on this and it would go into the mainline I don't have the mainline version of this I looked and I thought I did because it would have been neat to see it but I don't and um, so if I find one, we'll revisit this. But I think it was in yellow and came with regular tires. If somebody else knows different, let me know. Um, I don't have a real good resource for looking up Matchbox cars quickly. I have a lot of books, but nothing super fast. <laughs> and, and we got to get these videos out, so I don't know. Um, but this one's gonna, these are going to go in my collection. I'll see if I can find some more of these. By the way, I did buy these at the Toy Shack in Vegas where they had quite a few others. Uh, and the Toy Shack is a fantastic place if you're ever in Vegas. You're probably not going to find any really great deals there, but you'll find almost anything you could ever think you might be looking for there. It's a great toy store to buy things like this that are kind of kind of pricey normal on eBay. So... Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you in the next one. Bye, bye. Hello, everybody. It's Ellie Diecast, and we're here for a premiere. It's the first edition of the Mustang Boss. 1970 Boss Mustang. And we'll talk real quickly about what this is. <laughs> I don't have a lot of these. I would like to get all of them. I think I have about three of them, and all of them are out of the package. I've, I, the packages I've always gotten have been pretty beat up on these. But this is the Matchbox Premier Collection, and there is the, let me get you the, there's where it says the 1970 Boss Mustang Series 98. And uh, this is a new model. And what Matchbox did for a while, when did these come out? These were about eight years ago, I think. Uh, I'll tell you. Oh, no, 97. So this is probably 98 that this one came out, so more than that. Um, what Matchbox was doing is when they put out a new model, not all new models, but a new model, they would put this out, and you would get your new model with... Rubber tires, Matchbox doesn't call them um, real riders, but rubber tires, those are Goodyear tires on there. We'll take a look at those a little more close. And then a Zaymac version, which is pretty cool. And then it gives you that little box, which I really never know what to do with, but we'll keep it. <laughs> Matchbox always does that. They give me these little cardboard boxes inside cardboard boxes. So I never know what to do with it. 
we'll kind of take a look at here. Here's what it's going to tell you. It's a collector's item. New 1998 models. It's the first of 25,000 to roll off the Matchbox assembly line. And they came with rubber tires, chrome-plated wheels, highly detailed interiors, and realistic exteriors. Well, we really care about those rubber tires and that little Zamac. And what that meant is the first 25,000 cars of this model to roll off the production line went into the Premier, and you got that little Zamac. Now, I don't know if they were counting both of these as 25,000 or if there was 25,000 of each. The truth is, I don't know that it really matters to me because 25,000 isn't very limited. <laughs> so I don't really care. Um, so on the back, here is the Premier First Edition. There are all the people working on it. And then you get limited to only, yeah, let's get you a better angle here, limited to 25,000 of each style. Oh, that's probably. That's probably it, so 25,000 of each. And there are the eight vehicles that were in this particular series, and I don't know how many series they put out of these, um, but I think there are more than just that. That Kenworth uh, is a very hard one to find there. The Chevy Bel Air, as you'd imagine, is kind of a tricky one to find as well. So, And this Boss Mustang, pretty hard to find. So. I'll show you the bottom before we open this up, just in case you want to pause the video. There is the bottom. I don't know if there's anything particularly important on there. I'm going to be right back. We'll open this guy up.